Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, we're going to be working on this um, large uh, cratered wood panel I have behind me uh, right here. So this is uh, 48 by 48. So that's four feet by four feet. So it's a good size um, panel. Um, and it's been, uh, if you're not aware, I build my panels, get them prepped, ready for um, my work. Um, so this, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing. And my work is pretty much intuitive. Um, I just start and see where it begins, see where it ends, um, and see where it leads. And that's the fun part about it, too, is like I have a lot of variety in my work, uh, which you'll see on my website. Uh, just like keeping things fresh and not knowing what the outcome is going to be uh, makes it even more exciting. Um, so this panel has been built and uh, prepped sanded and uh, went over it with gesso um so it's ready for um an art piece so i do want to start with um a black background um so everything is going to be in contrast in contrast with that so the entire panel um also the sides will be covered in i have um ivory black uh, this is artist uh, artist loft and if you can see that, it's Artist Loft um, acrylic uh, paint, ivory black. Um, find that ivory, ivory black in contrast to the Mars black is uh, more, it's more, it's darker. So there's more, uh, um, it, it just says it's a lot darker for me. So I like the texture. I like that it's, it's a vibrant dark. Um, the, the Mars black, in my in my opinion, is a little bit of uh, on the gray side, um, but I find this is a lot darker, and that's what I'm that's what I'm going for. So, obviously, it's going to take quite a lot of paint <laughs> to cover this cover this up, um, and I'm not going to bore you through the process of trying to get this whole thing covered. I'm going to start, and I'll, I'll turn off the camera at some point, come back, and 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 you can see the the progression. Um, in the technique that I'm going to use here, because I like a, a lot of texture in my work. So instead of the, you know, the up and down motion or the side motion, I tend to do what's uh, more of a jab, right? It's just like I'm poking at the, the panel. It's a jab. And when you do that uh, in quick, subse uh, in, in quick um, sessions, when you pretty much go through that motion where it's like you're jabbing that that surface, what happens is you create little protrusions um, and you get that texture and, and you get to see what I mean when I, uh, and I'll show you, I'll, I'll put the camera close up so you get to see that, um, what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go through this. It takes a little more time to do that, but I do need that texture uh, with the ivory black. Um, this is a 16, uh, just 16.9 ounce. It's just about 17 ounce of 500 or 500, 500 mil. I don't know this. I don't think it's going to be enough to cover it, but I have another one. I have some, um, so I have artist loft. I have Blake, uh, art studio acrylics. I have some Liquitex. So, um, I have options, uh, to get this all covered up. Um, and then it's just going to be the fun part to try to figure out, um, you know, what I want to do and just follow my intuition uh to create something that's beautiful uh that's all inspiring and uh and that would motivate you to want to create in your own way again this is an incredible wood panel uh this is 48 by 48 and i'm gonna begin um and cover this all up um so that's gonna be the background uh the substance that everything else will be uh being be contrasted with so it should be fun. Um, it's going to be exciting to see actually what comes out of this. Um, so these panels, I have four of these built, ready to go. And this is the first one I'm working on. But I have many more panels of small sizes as well that I'm going to be working on. Um, if you know that on my channel so far, I've had just, I'm just doing my drawings. because Drawings are a lot easier to do and to also edit and put up. But I will slowly begin to incorporate some of the my more um, more of the paintings and also the mixed media work um, and start adding those uh, slowly 
And it takes time, but I think it's worth it. Um, so anyways, so I'm going to begin with this and I will come back uh, when I made some progress and then show you the technique uh, where you get to have those protrusions. And if you want more protrusions, and another thing too with the protrusions, the bigger the... I don't like to use a, um, a brush that's too, that's too wide. Uh, you certainly can do that. I find that um, I don't get the right, uh, the right saturation of protrusion that I'm looking for. Um, so you also want to play with the size of the brush. Um, so this, for example, is the perfect size that I can really get fine details uh, and more uh, and be consistent um, with the with the protrusions that I get, with the texture that I get all across the board, uh, all across the surface. So just keep that in mind. But we're gonna uh, I'm gonna talk about that, um, and you know, as I go along, and also show you the process and how you get those protrusions as well. Um, there's different techniques you, you, that you can utilize, and you get different results. Um, and it's not so much the the tool you can really improvise with a lot of different tools and stuff you have around the house to create um, an art piece. It, it doesn't have to be difficult. You know, you got to use that creative mindset and apply it to your life and in many different areas of uh, including acquiring your products and things that you work with and be smart about it and also save money, money that way as well. So I'm not going to waste too much of your time. I'm going to get onto it and um, I will come back um, and uh, from time to time to take more footage um, because it's going to take a long time to go through all this um, to get this all covered up. All right. So uh, I'm just going to pretty much, we're going to go take up the cap, take off, off the cap. There's no reason to keep that on um, and just dig right in and start getting this all saturated. Okay. So I'm going to start anywhere really. Um, I have a painter's cloth on the floor uh, to keep it from uh, from, from getting um, stained. So basically, you can now you might not hear what is actually going on because I'm jabbing at I'm I'm doing a jab at this surface on this uh, panel. But um, I might incorporate a little bit of this noise so you can hear it, but though it's not that important. Um, also, the reason I'm saying this is because generally when you go to the, when I go to edit, when I go to edit, when I, generally when I'm working, I'm listening to some good music, you know, on my, my, in my studio. Uh, I enjoy music. Music is... Uh, it's inspiring. It's uh, for the senses, you know, puts you in the zone. Uh, you'd be amazed just having a good, good music going that speaks to you and listen to the, listening to those vibrations, um, how it affects you. Um, so it's, an, it is, in, in, it, it's incredible. So obviously when it comes to edit and put and edit in the, the work and put in the work on online, um, obviously I can't just <laughs> chop and put the, the video, the video online with the music playing, there, there are copyrights issues. So, uh, that's for anybody that's, you know, thinking of doing something similar, whatever it is, know that, you know, you just can't put any audio on your, even if it's background, Right, you just can't put that out there. You got to do your research. Make sure that you're using uh, royalty-free, you know, or some something you've paid for that you know, or that you're that is allowed. Um, just as long as you give credit to the artists. There are tons of videos like that, uh, uh, music uh, that you could incorporate and utilize for your work whatever that is so keep that in mind so there's always that learning curve um so yeah it's not as easy as just you know turning on the camera and doing a video 
there's always the editing portion of it that also takes a lot of time. Um, so there's more, there's a lot that go into it. So whatever it is that you do, it has to be something that you're passionate about that you enjoy doing because then, um, whether or not you're getting, whether or not anyone sees it, you enjoy what you're doing, right? So it, you're improving on yourself. You're trying to get, do the, you're trying to see how far you can go and what you can create. And your mind is your only, and your mind is your only limitation, right? So in that sense, if you're doing what you love, then just keep doing it. And, um, Everything else will fall into place, but you must be uh, consistent, uh, trust in yourself, even if no one else does, and uh, you will be fine. Consistency, practice, determination. I can go on, on and on and on and on, but you get the gist. I just actually cut off the music so I can talk and you can hear me and I can potentially put this part in the video and that, um, because if I have something playing in the background, there's no way for me to, separate the different audio, uh, the different audio in the video. I'll have to remove the entire audio, including the noise of the jab and myself talking and put something over it. <clears throat> but, uh, so basically, as you can see, I don't know if you can see from, from where you are, but what I'm, where the camera is located, but what I'm doing is I'm, so uh, you can just layer like this, right? You can go like that with a good amount and then you can like dab, or you can call it that you can dab on it or you can jab. So I'm jabbing in a quick motion, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. And what I'm doing, um, what I'm causing to happen are these protrusions that's coming right off the, coming right off the board, the panel. And this is creating the texture that I want, okay? Um, another thing is if you want more texture, just, you know, put a whole bunch of paint and do the same thing to it. Also, you can do layering where you let us one layer dry, and then you come back with the same, in this case, ivory black, add some more paint and do the same thin. So you certainly can have areas where you have more texture and um, other areas where you have less texture. It all depends on what you want. Uh, so many ways to do this. Um, this is one way, um, understand. That some people use paper towel. There's a lot of tools and things you probably have in a house that you can use to create. Um, my art is self-taught, so I don't have any rigid structure. Hence the variety in my work. I enjoy variety. Um, don't let yourself be limited to whatever it is you're taught in your formal education. That's fine, but you can you but you're in your you you are your own master, and, and how you create is going to be unique to you. So don't get lost in the identity of every other artist out there. Those that you admire or that you aspire to be, you just got to practice and find your own way. And it's a beautiful thing, and that's why I have a lot of variety in my work always expanding. I love drawings with charcoal, graphite, ink, pastel, acrylics. Uh, I love mixed media work, mixed media painting, 
painting with acrylics, created a wood panel, and I built these panels. So I also get the satisfaction of uh, being involved from start to finish, getting the supplies from the hardware store, um, building the panel. And I also have the luxury of being able to build what si whatever size I want. I like wood. Wood is rigid and it's tough. It's going to hold the test of time. It's not going to fall apart. Uh, when I was doing, um, done a couple of shows, shows in the past where I would uh, uh, take uh, several of my original artwork. And it definitely pays off that it's not, it wasn't on canvas because I probably would have wrecked a lot of them. Um, I love the rigidity of wood and you can do a lot with it, especially if you're going to be doing mixed media. If you intend to do mixed media work, I would definitely say consider working with wood. It's versatile. It's forgiving. Uh, you don't have to be a carpenter to, uh, to do it yourself. It's uh, probably one of these days I will make an attempt to make a video of me building a created wood panel and my process it's not a how to it's how i do it remember with everything you have to find your own way and your method that works for you um and no one has a monopoly on creativity uh i always say that the uh Creative energy is always present, is ever so present, and all it takes is a commitment and uh, the desire to channel that energy to master it, to express it in your own unique way. Um, and that's what I'm doing, and that's what we all ought to do. Uh, there's many ways to be creative. This is just one of it. Um, we live in a world today where uh, we live in a world today where everything is uh, compartmentalized. Even if you have to go to work, I, I work full time still. I have to make ends meet, um, but that's not going to stop me from doing what I love to do. Um, you do what you have to do, but just keep in mind that. Um, So you may be compartmentalizing how you get your money right now, how you live in, in many areas of your life. You, 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 you don't have to allow your mind to be compartmentalized. You can, you can expand your mind. You can choose to grow. You can choose to expand and that put, put your mind in the box. Even if your body is in a box and um, how you go about your day to day is in a box um, of some sort, uh, the bottom line, you know, being money, we all need that to live. Um, but see it for what it is and don't be caught up in the illusion, the illusion of safety. I believe we are all a piece, a piece of the divine. There's a lot more going on that we are pervy to. And uh, I feel it's my job to uh, keep positive, share positivity, share positivity everywhere I go, touch hearts. Don't hold malice. Don't hang on to hatred. Forgive. Let go. You can choose to forgive and have nothing to do with that person. And that's fine. You don't have to be buddies with someone you forgive. Sometimes you forgive and you're doing it for you. But you forgive and you separate yourself from that individual, from that situation that's toxic, but you don't dwell on it. 
practice letting go detachment from all that no longer serves you. Art is a beautiful thing. Creativity is a beautiful thing. But there is also the, uh, you also got to separate the art of self-expression and being an artist. Everybody can, everybody and anybody can self-express in whatever way they choose. But it does not mean that their, philo their, their philosophy of life is anywhere close or remotely close to your views or your, your perspective on, on life. So self-expression is different from being, the, being an artist. And in one of my videos, I talk about who I think the artist is. And what I'll do is I will uh, put that up um, or it will be one of the suggested videos to watch after this. Um, you can, uh, if you go on my channel in the videos and search for who the artist is to me, um, I mean, you'll find it, but I'll, I'll put it up as well in the description and you can watch that. It just, uh, was an impromptu, um, intuitive, uh, video that I made one morning while I was having my coffee. Uh, I just like to do it. And I just took the opportunity and uh, and made that short video. I think it's about eight minutes, eight minutes long. Um, but there you get just a little bit, a little bit of my philosophy and who I think the artist is, and how th that word goes beyond just a, just a, the word itself. It's a it's a way of life. Um, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go into that here, but you get you get the idea. Um, so I'm going to keep uh, working on this and I'm going to turn off the camera now and I will come back, uh, and we'll continue from where I left off. Um, again, uh, this is just the first layer and then we're going to start having some fun after this. Um, uh, thank you for watching and, uh, we'll pick up, uh, at a later time. And um, so perhaps, hopefully you can see, but I will come back later and I'll have the camera pointed much closer. As a matter of fact, let me do it right now. Why not? So, see the texture I'm talking about, right? I don't know if you can make that out, but there's a lot of texture and that's happening because I'm going like, see, instead of just going like this, right? I'm doing a jab. And by doing that jab, you create protrusions and that gives you that texture, right? And you can do layers and layers to get different level of texture. Um, you can let it dry, come back, add some more paint, and, um, you know, and get the texture that way. So that's what I'm doing. So it's going to be all textured up the whole entire surface and also the sides. Uh, I'm going to show you the back real quick. So as you can see, that's the back and it's a pretty large, uh, pretty large panel. So I'm going to stop here and I will come back I will come back and um, show you the progression and, and what has been done. Um, all right, well thanks for watching. See you in the next uh, next video. Bye for now.